Hello, and welcome back to the Voynich Manuscript. I am the host, Sky. I'm Finn. And I am Nico. And this is your last week in the host chair. <laughs> How does it feel? Ah, uh, not too bad, you know. Just, I hope one day to come back did you enjoy and yourself? steal it. Fun. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Not too bad. Uh, <laughs> it was it was really hard to talk her, so I respect you for being able to talk Good. better than me. But also, it's not that hard to be talking with my talking. Talk, as you talk, just talk. As just then, yeah. I could not speak. <laughs> okay, anyway, so today we are talking about the disappearance of Lars Metank. So, before we start, do you know, have you heard of the disappearance of Lazma Tank? Now, like, that, now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I've, like, briefly heard about it. I might have seen it in, like, a list of, like, top ten stupid mysteries or whatever. Uh, but uh, that's about it. I have not. Okay. Also, didn't you say you needed to give a trigger warning? Yes, so, um, a, there's a trigger, just a trigger warning. Um, we, br I briefly mentioned sex trafficking. Like, just very briefly. Uh, just quickly, let's close this window. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> window closing, window closing. Uh, uh, hey. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, the disappearance of Lazma Tank is a strange one, to say the least. Can I just butt in quickly and yes. say, Mitank sounds a lot like Miltank, the Pokemon. That's all I have to say. Cows. Mil. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Lazma Tank was a 28-year-old at the time on a holiday with his friends in Bulgaria, mm. where he had to have, he had to have a delayed flight back home, but when in the airport's doctor's office, he suddenly got up and ran out of the airport right. and was not seen again. So he was he had to take an early flight home because he was no, sick. No, he had a he no his flight got he had to stay back a day and um because of well as we'll get into he suffered an injury while mm. on the trip, and he was going to get a, the clear from the doctor so right, he could right. go home. Go home to where? Like, where's he from? Uh, I believe it was Germany. Oh. Yeah. So, Lars Tank was said to be, was said by most of his friends, peers, and family to be pretty normal and kind person. To be a pretty normal and kind person. He had a girlfriend, he had a lot of friends, had a job at a power plant. Straight. Yes. <laughs> as <laughs> far as I can here. tell. Presumed straight. <laughs> <laughs> straight passing. <laughs> like Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> He what doesn't Jacob? listen. He doesn't listen. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I can say what. If you're listening, we understand you're straight. We just don't care. We know that. <laughs> I've said this before, but you are so deep in the closet, you may as well be in Narnia. I just think it's a funny line. That, that's a good line. Yes, that is a good line. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, he had a job at a power plant, and when his father had a stroke, he'd come over after work and help around the house. So, you know, kind person, pretty normal, but then that's also said in every single disappearance case. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> Um, uh, so, on the 30th of June, 2014, him and his college friends went to went on a trip to Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. They went went to the beach, swam, went clubbing, played the footy on the beach. Um, you know, just had an all-around good time. Definitely straight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. <laughs> um, I know Germans, and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> And um, on the 5th of July, while out one night... Oh, so close to American Independence Day. <laughs> where he, he probably wouldn't celebrate it. Not important. <laughs> <laughs> um, while out one night, he split with his friends at a bar, and then he didn't see them until the next morning on the 6th. Mm. When he came to them, saying he'll need to stay longer, because last night he got into a fight at a bar. Because... From Definitely stretch. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, um, oh, you know, this it, it adds more to it. Because, um, from what I found, the argument was about a soccer team. Ah, <laughs> football. <laughs> and, uh, and then there was a disagreement. And, uh, there were four guys hired by the guy that had disagreed with him, and they attacked him. Ooh. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, because. It sounds great for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
So because of that, he went to the doctors and had an injured jaw and a ruptured eardrum. Oh, that's not fun. No. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know. I thought Finn was going to say something. I, I thought like, you were going to say something. <laughs> keep that in, please. I'm going That's to. so funny. The only silences I keep in are the silences that are funny. <laughs> or I can't be bothered to edit. That's like my greatest fear. I'm in public and I say something and it just goes just... silent. And like when we went silent, I was like, this will be really funny if it just went silent. And it did. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so yeah, the doctor gave him some antibiotics, mm. but also said that he probably shouldn't fly because of his eardrum. Yeah, that's fair. He checked out of the hotel the same time as his friends, and checked into a nearby hotel for the night. Mm. It was around this time that his behaviour was, like, noticeably, like, different. Wackier, you could almost say. I guess so, yeah. Wacky to that. Wacky tabaxi. He was a... <laughs> he was a cat person. <laughs> <laughs> um, he called his mother from his room, where, in a whisper, he said that he was being followed by four men, and he was scared for his life. I'm being followed by four men and scared for my life. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Google. <laughs> and uh, he asked her to cancel all his bank cards. Cancel all my bank cards. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should be saying this ASMR. in a German accent. <laughs> trigger warning ASMR from Finn. The host. And Finn also. No, you're the host. You're the host. You're the host, goddammit. The owner. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I'm the founder. I'm the CEO, yeah. you're the manager. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And Nico is purely a lowly employee. Oh, I was going to make a joke. I was like, um, let's see, I have um, the old host and my cancel coach. <laughs> to make sure I didn't say anything wrong. You're doing great, kid. Yes. <laughs> Keep going, champ. You'll get through this. <laughs> there was also CCTV video of him walking around the hotel, looking out the windows, and at one point hiding in the elevator. This is starting to sound a lot like that one with the woman that case. Yeah, the yeah. woman that ended up in the water tank. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's safe to say he was beyond paranoid. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, you could almost call him paranoid. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you, Finn. One might say he is paranoid. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I get to be the dumb shit for once. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Keep going, keep going. I, I uh, repeat, nurses is the dumb uh, shit. Uh, 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 potatoes. Potatoes? <laughs> Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> potato pussy. Ah, potatoes in my... Potussy. <laughs> um, so, it's now the next morning... Drink a warning for potussy. Potussy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's now the next morning, he catches a taxi to the airport and enters the airport doctor's office with mm. his luggage. And, um, as I'll show you in the video, sometime after being in there... Some reports say he was he was like really nervous while waiting there, and some say there was also like um someone that walked in, like a, a construction worker, and he just panicked and ran out. And if you're going to show us this video now, I'll make sure to link it. Yes. Oh um, uh, yeah, I'll put I'll put a link to it in the episode description. Yeah. So he ran out of. Oh yeah, I'll just show you the video first before I continue. <laughs> Oh. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, so. uh, it should be easy if I just pause the recording. Yeah. Uh, and we're back. Yes, yeah. Back, 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 back. So after we made fun of the video, <laughs> singing <laughs> Katy Perry's fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, he bolt ran past the security desk, um, out the front where he continued to climb over an eight foot fence. Wait, that's eight foot? It yeah. didn't look higher than his waist. I mean, that's just from what I've gathered from reports of it, at yeah. least. Um, pretty, like, a high enough fence. Yeah, um, me. He ran into the meadows into a sunflower field oh. near the highway, near, like, a close-by highway. Mm. This was the last image of him seen. Well, it's the last image seen of him. And, uh... There were, pos- there were possible sightings of him, um, like, in 2019. <laughs> like, none of these are confirmed. So, wait, um, uh, where was this again? Like, when did he disappear? Um, he disappeared... Let's see if... 24... Oh, 
Yeah, 2014. It didn't his, the clothes did not look like 2014? They look like 2009. But yeah, anyway. it, it kind of did. Yeah. I guess Bulgaria never caught up on the fashions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, it wasn't Bulgarians. It was Germans. He was he at the was Bulgarian German. airport. Yeah, but he was. He's a German though. Yeah, I meant the entire <laughs> airport. Okay, yeah, fair. <laughs> so Bulgaria and Germany. I don't really think people dress up to go on an airplane. I do. I just in my highest of fashions, <laughs> <laughs> which is a t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> <laughs> my third favorite graphic sh- t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, which I'm currently wearing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the. There were possible signs of him, like in 2019, where a truck driver in Berlin picked up a guy that he said resembled Lars. Oh, well, at least he got back to Germany. Yeah, like I, I think like um, like the truck driver had like only just heard about the case, and like saw what he look would have looked like, and he was like, mm, you, he kind of looks like Lars, but this was never confirmed. Mm. So um, before I go into any like um possible theories, do you have anything? About I mean. What could have happened? Like, if I were to go the, the boring route, um, like, this kind of reminds me of two separate cases, being that, that woman in the elevator, I, I can't, can't remember her name. I can't remember her name. Uh, but they did a BuzzFeed Unsolved on it. Yeah. Um, and another one, which was actually solved really recently, like, a, a yeah. few months ago, of uh, the disappearance of a, a young boy named Andrew Gulston. Yeah. Um, I was actually planning on doing an episode on him, but then I started researching it, and then, like, the day after I started researching it, uh, uh, he was found. Oh. Dead. Oh. Uh, that which was is, a weird place to pause, Yeah, I, that, that was. I apologise. <laughs> I, like, I was like, he's probably dead. Yeah. He, dead. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. All but, right. yeah, both of them were really awful cases. Yeah. Like, um, Andrew Gosden was groomed. Like, oh. like, this was back when the internet was still blossoming. Yeah. And, which is just awful. Yeah. Luckily, they actually captured the people who yeah. uh, did it, and they went away for a very long time. Uh, or at least that that they, they should. They still yet have their court hearings. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, but and that other case is just just weird. It was a very weird. Did they case. ever solve that one? If not, after they, doing I mean, an episode on it, they found her body. But they didn't realize figure out they, why they. They don't know how she got onto the roof. Mm. I'm just going to put in my notes for later episodes. Um, Lady that... (laughs) Water tank lady. She just got thirsty. (laughs) (laughs) But she didn't drink all the water. (laughs) Fake fan of thirst. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Uh, But, um... I don't know. Honestly, it just sounds like someone who's suffering from a paranoia episode or a delusional uh, delusion. I mean, if he was hit in the head, like a ruptured eardrum and a broken jaw, then yeah. that just sounds like he might have just had some head trauma. Yeah. And it, that was causing uh, delusions. Yeah, I Or mean, even it's just the pain meds he was on. Yeah, plus getting beat up is kind of traumatic, so... Yeah. And also, like, this is a big what if but like he might have been afraid of flying and that could have uh yeah. like i i know a person who is petrified of flying and because they do have like they had uh like hallucinations before they went on a plane before mm. uh, he wanted yeah. to be a pilot ironically uh, huh. i i don't know I, I haven't talked to him in years though so. <laughs> i'm not gonna bring this back to that disappearance of the pilot that disappeared in australia <laughs> and the ufo dis- so I think I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I'm and gonna don't, do it. I'm <laughs> you've this twisted him. my hand. <laughs> but I mean, there's like a lot of different possible psychological reasons yeah. why it occurred. But if we want to be fun and wacky, <laughs> then aliens. aliens. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> And mind control. Yeah, probing and shit. Oh, it's good to see that we're on the same page, yeah, Nick. This is my way. You know, it. I shit you not. I've I've received messages of like TikToks from both of you, and it's the same <laughs> TikTok. Me and I it's are really funny. The same yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> God. <laughs> So, uh, same if fucking we're the same brainwave. person, this is technically my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, and then your podcast is also Finn's. <laughs> yeah. Yes! The wildly, wrongly educated by me. <laughs> <laughs> Who will not put in the research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> this is the only thing I'm willing to research. God damn it. But aliens. Yeah, yeah, aliens. You know. Well, his body wasn't work. found, so. Yeah. He could, he could. Aliens. I mean, what a fun idea. <laughs> I guess a fun idea would be that he's like living somewhere as a feral man in like the Black Forest or something in Germany. And and still lives it. And still comes out to run around in the flower fields. Yeah. Yeah. He is the time where it was last peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Crackpot Fury. He is Slenderman. He is the internet <laughs> creepypasta Slenderman. Slenderman confirmed. Yes. It, it, known for his yellow shirts and, <laughs> and khakis. Yeah, you know the version of Slenderman where it's like he's all fighting Goofy. <laughs> no, that, that's an yeah. actual thing. There's like the one who flirts with everyone. There's classic Slenderman TM, and then there's the fun Goofy one. I'm not really that caught up on uh, Slenderman law. <laughs> yeah, or just like um, creepy pasta law. All I'm gonna say was I was a very, very sad and lonely fourteen year old. <laughs> Same. I also I delved hard into creepy pastas. I mean, I I'm sort of it's sort of give. I'm sort of going back into it. But, because See, like I just for the horror, I like horror. I, I was I was also a sad and lonely fourteen year old, but instead of creepy passes, I clearly went down a theater um, sort yeah. of rabbit hole. That was also because you were gay. You two <laughs> fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> clearly, you were the only gay one here. <laughs> Once again, why did the silence You're happen th- after I spoke? No. It's- it's because I was waiting for Finn's response. It was like, mm. So yeah. instead I just chucked my pen. Because yeah. <laughs> you, you, you know we're right. <laughs> Don't, Don't spit your water. water. Don't make me snarf. <laughs> <laughs> snarf. When you, when you it's like, laugh with a mouthful of liquid and it goes up your nose. Oh, that's I, I didn't know, know there was a name a, for yeah, it. I didn't know how to name. Yeah, it's called snarfing. Well, I know that now. Cool. <laughs> didn't ask Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna leave this episode. <laughs> yeah, so uh, me and Sky, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> New host of so the Slender Man. Man. <laughs> so the uh, the picture that we saw of him of what he might look like if he was a feral man. <laughs> clearly, he's just trying to become a real life furry by growing all of his hair <laughs> yep. to make his own like organic fur suit. Also known as body hair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to do, Scott? Yeah, Just grow I, all of your body hair so you can have a, <laughs> a natural forming fursuit? Uh, not particularly. Be the otter you always wanted to be. <laughs> but, um, there he is. But that's another friend of ours. He looks like a blonde Brendan Fraser. Who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brendan Fraser. Um, He's an actor. Iconic actor. Oh, uh, not iconic enough, I see. <laughs> yes. Ooh, controversy. <laughs> Ooh. But, um, yeah, you said there was going to be sex trafficking. Well, yeah, that's if we Where go into our... Where is sex trafficking? <laughs> <laughs> Please do not take oh, that out. New God. t-shirt. <laughs> Where's my sex out trafficking? Of con- just a picture of you A compilation of out-of-context lines that sound horrible. Yeah, please You just do that with the entire podcast. Yeah. Please don't take that out of context. <laughs> I shall uh. post that as a TikTok. Uh, <laughs> where's my sex trafficking? Yeah, where's Nico my said, sex trafficking? Nico said what? <laughs> and just have me just do like half the screen is just the voyage range right? thing, and me just going. Yeah, like a, a very stereotypical YouTube thumbnail with yeah. like a, with like. Yes. Said what? <laughs> Gasp? Yeah. P- prank on wrong, 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so possible theories. <laughs> um, where the fuck did the mouse go? <laughs> I love the mouse. Where'd the mouse go? Okay, found it. What the mouse Okay, do? so some possible theories uh, is that the medication he was given. I forgot my bracelet was making a really loud, loud noise. Um, um, had caused them to have hallucinations or other issues that made him believe that his life was in danger. Mm-hmm. While I wasn't able to, to find conclusively what the drug was, um, if sh- fuck, <laughs> what the drug was that he was given, it I was said by <laughs> a few people. It was said by a lot of people that while there were side effects like dizziness, it seemed unlikely that. That um, it seemed unlikely that some. Re- oh, fuck. 
you know, your mouth does produce words, but you seem to be doing it in the wrong order. <laughs> it seems to be your, your, okay, your words come first and then your mouth catches up. <laughs> okay, I forgot to put a comma or a full stop there. And that stops you. Okay, yeah, because it made no sense. Okay. Finish your sentence. Okay, yeah, so. To say. Yeah, it seemed unlikely. <laughs> Some reports uh, I found mm. said that um he didn't even take the drugs because he was nervous of an ingredient in it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you go, Nico. Uh, so. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't there. I can't confirm whether he took the drugs or not. Yeah. <clears throat> but the hypno. I know that the um, different side effects can be created if you take two different drugs. Yeah. So, like, maybe that one drug didn't have the side effects, but he didn't tell them that he was taking another medication. And then yeah. when they mixed double all up in his body, he got all whack. Yeah. That was a very lame impression. <laughs> I mean, I understood I mean, everything yeah, well, that came out of your mouth. I, yeah, I was too sure everyone understood what you said for once. Yeah. This is a... Sh <laughs> oh, <laughs> bitch! Oh my lord! This... Spill the tea! <laughs> this no. podcast getting so spicy! Welcome back to Drama Alert. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Drama Killer Nation! Killer Keemstar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to actually get blocked by Keemstar. <laughs> this will happen very quickly. <laughs> but, um... Oh, God. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that's definitely possible. Yeah. Um, another one is that he suffered brain damage from the head injury in the fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he uh, he got into leading him to having a psychotic break yeah. or like a paran like induced paranoia. Mm. Um, so, and then uh, the last one. Oh no, that wasn't the last one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it, one that was it. He was suffering mental health issues that led him to having a psychotic break. Um, from what... <laughs> Mental health. <laughs> Mental health, high five. <laughs> One, from what I found, uh, it said that he had no history of mental health issues in his past, nor his family, but, like, obviously we can't determine that because we don't know mm. what's going on in someone's head. Mm. Um, so here's another big one. Oh, yeah, were you going to say something? Oh, no. Okay. Um, the other one uh, was um, possible sex trafficking. Because um, Bulgaria is still one of the primary sources for sex trafficking, mm. and some have theorized that following, like him running out, he was caught and then fell victim to sex trafficking. Um. So why there's like no like other than that like these are this is all just speculation. There wasn't much to go off because he just sort of disappeared. Mm. Mm. Um. Yeah. There's still no answer to why dis why he disappeared and where he is. Um. I, Thoughts? <laughs> I mean, my primary theory continues to be feral man in the black forest. <laughs> I feel that's just entirely, excuse me, entirely plausible. Nico? That Didn't sounds... you have a prime minister that like walked into the ocean and just did yeah. how, how it's something, yeah. Uh, it was, I was about to say Russell. <laughs> Russell Howard, yeah. The comedian, <laughs> uh, the okay. British comedian Australian, Russell Howard. Uh, okay, I would, uh, Australian Prime Minister disappeared. Prime Minister. Paul. But, um... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Harold Holt. Of course it was Harold, Harold Holt. Holt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and we named him Paul after. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Usually when I'm on these episodes, there's usually, like, one very obvious answer mm. that makes sense, and the rest are like, ha look at this funny theory I put <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but, um... This one actually has multiple, like, plausible reasons. Yeah. But that's just and That's what makes it a good mystery. Yeah, because we don't know everything about the brain. Yeah. But, um... Apart from it's like jelly. <laughs> <laughs> what? And it's, and it's floating in, in liquid. Yeah. yeah. And then just bounces around. Your skull is a jar. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I go to I go to so many metal concerts, and that's why I come out um, unable to form a sentence. You're, a, you're unable to form a sentence anyway. <laughs> I know it's from all the concerts. Um, but... Metal. This is what. This is your brain, brain on, on metal. metal. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> God, those hands were so dumb. Me... Smashing an egg would make me not do crack. Ha. <laughs> If I'm being honest, I don't know a lot about sex trafficking, so I didn't know that it was like a big place. Good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know it was it like it was actually such a big thing. Unfortunately, in Bulgaria. About, I thought you were about to say I didn't even know sex trafficking existed. No, <laughs> no sex trafficking what is a thing. Sex? What is a sex traffic? What is, is that tra like where you fuck in a car? <laughs> I know. I know what traffic is. <laughs> That's that scene from Titanic <laughs> where, where Jack and Rose fucked in the car. Sex traffic. I haven't seen Titanic. I haven't either. 
I really? Know. Yeah, no, I just... I've watched other stuff and then we'll we watched the same we thing. We have mentioned James Cameron in every one of these episodes. We're going to have to have a James Cameron movie marathon now. <laughs> which is we'll, Titanic and Avatar. And we will all and we will review it on the new podcast, Why Did We Watch That? Is that the name you're going for? Like, have, you, have you fully decided that's the name before you I, announce I mean, I, it to I, the world? No, no, no. no. <laughs> like, look, it, it's a possible. Uh, I'll just have to see if it allows me to. What do you mean? Because you, 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 you have a network, and we still don't have a name for the network. Yeah, I, I had a I surprise announcement. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it was sort of briefly mentioned in the last episode. Yeah, well, not last brief. episode. From like what three weeks ago? Yeah. But uh, yeah, we are. Pl- I am planning on making a network, and a few of our friends, uh, a few of the regular guests, are planning on making podcasts. Nico and Sky being two of them. Not that yeah. I'm regular. What do you mean? You are re- if you're on this podcast with any sort of frequency, then yes, you are a regular. I've already been on six episodes. This, this would be six your ninth. Is, is it? Yes. Oh. Is it? Nice. I wouldn't have said yes if it wasn't. No, like my brain's not piecing that together. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it is, at least. I might be wrong. I swear, where they did six. I mean, we'll, 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 I did we'll the check it. With Madeline. And then I'm doing oh, these ones. Yeah, because you were going to be on episodes before, but you flaked. I didn't flake. <laughs> we kind of planned it, and then it just never happened. No, you flaked because you had exams. No, because we planned it for the weekend after the exams, and then we just Why kind of never brought happen? it up again. Because well, you talked but, to me about it, and I think you would have talked to whoever else you were going to have on there, and then it just never happened. Why did you? Why were you not on it? Sort of thing. But you sort it out again, Finn. Uh, don't worry about the behind the scenes stuff. Look at, Let's behind, talk about crack cocaine. Look at, stuff's <laughs> look, organizing's hard, okay? Yeah. So a podcast, as I can see. <laughs> yeah, um, you want to host one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It'd be, uh, it'd be fun. I I like movies and shit. Yeah, especially I guess, shitty movies. <laughs> I guess I count as a regular now. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. <laughs> yes, I live here now. I guess the only people who aren't regulars are Quinn and my sister. Because they're the only two that have been in one set of episodes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually. My sister's only been in one episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb fucking nerd podcast. Hi, Finn's sister. Stop. Her name was said it was Scarlet. <laughs> I know her name. <laughs> I know you know her name. I'm saying it was said it's not like it's a secret. No, it's top secret information. No one's allowed to. No. Thanks, Finn. Thanks, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> but other than yeah. that, <laughs> other than that, like I mean, unless you have like other theories or nah. anything to plug, uh, uh, you've got your plug. Well, yeah, drugs. my plug. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Thank Sky's, you for your vlog. Sky, <laughs> Sky's Instagram page. Uh, don't don't forget about the email if you have any ideas for episodes. The Twitter if you want to Twitter me. Um, Twitter. <laughs> what are you seventy? Need to tweet. Uh, and we've also got uh, the TikTok. TikTok and the Patreon now. So nice. give Finn your money. Give me the money. <laughs> Give me this all is, the money. This is one of his big validations. <laughs> is his podcast? I'm sorry. <laughs> At the time of recording, I have 20 subscribers, most of which are people who appear on the podcast. So <laughs> I only have five bucks. <laughs> if you can do I'll, that, I'll subscribe to the Patreon. If you can do that a month, that'd be great. No, just once. <laughs> that will go towards better equipment, so that it doesn't sound like garbage. Better equipment that I can steal. Look, all I have is one good microphone. <laughs> And, that, and that's it. Unless you won't want to crowd around one I, a two hundred dollar microphone and I talk have, into it. I have three good microphones, but my computer only uh, picks up one at a time. So I'm sure I can figure it out. I'm but sure you can. Too much. It's a bit of effort right now. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for having us. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank you, Sky. Thank and you, you for letting me the host. Fuck out my hosting <laughs> seat. <laughs> it was fun. I must say. Um, yeah. Well. Yep, bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Bye.